I don't know, I find just making lists of words boring. I'd rather go into the nitty gritty of it all. Hmm, maybe I should just do what you guys want. Greek and Latin are two of the most important languages in the world. This is because a huge amount of words from languages used across the globe were heavily influenced by them. This is because just how influential the Greek and Roman cultures were in the Western world. They helped shape our modern concept of society thousands of years ago. As they were so influential, it makes sense as to why their languages would stick around in modern languages in some shape or form. Languages like French, Spanish and English feature words which were adapted from Latin or Greek. Take the word of transport. This comes from the Latin transportale, which in turn is formed of two Latin fragments, that being of trans, meaning beyond such a cross, and portale, meaning to carry. Meanwhile, we also have the word of comedy, which is of Greek origins. The Greeks clearly loved a good laugh. Initially in Greek, it was komodia, which once again comes from the Greek fragments of komos, meaning revel slash merrymaking, and adios, meaning a poet or singer. These are two words still used all the time in English, which derive from really ancient tongues. It's also worth mentioning that the Greek komodia became the English comedy via the Latin version of the word komodia, which shows us that not only are these two languages very influential, but sometimes they actually end up intermixing with one another too. In fact, sometimes they intermix so much that we end up with words that are of joint Greek and Latin origins. Take the word of television. The tele part of the word comes from Greek, initially being tele, and meaning things like far off or at a distance. The vision part of the word, however, comes from Latin with their word of visionum, meaning to see. So television means to see something from afar, which you know makes sense. Televisions, I guess, yeah, we sit far away from televisions, but it also allows to see things that were shot from afar, like from other parts of the world. That, that was quite a big deal back when telly was first invented, I imagine. This means that television is a weird blend of Greek and Latin. And trust me, it isn't the only example of a word from mixed Greek-Latin origins. There are whole lists of them out there. This selection of words which are Greek and Latin in their formation are pretty unique and strange. In most cases, words come from just one language in their initial origin, like how we saw with transport and comedy. This is due to the fact that in the past, when many words were being formed initially, languages didn't really intermix as much as they do now, so most words could flourish on their own without elements of other languages getting in the way. Yet, as the centuries went on, languages started intermixing more, which allowed these kinds of hybrid words to give them their proper names, formed of Greek and Latin to come into being. And when I say the centuries went on, I mean a huge amount of time. What's interesting about a lot of these hybrid Greek and Latin words is the fact that many of them are relatively modern in their coinage and relate to relatively modern ideas. Take that first example of television. Televisions came into being across the late 19th and early 20th century in many different forms. This word didn't exist when the ancient Greeks or Romans were around. It's not like the Greeks or Romans were sitting around watching Bake Off or anything like that. Maybe they would have been less productive if they did. Imagine that, if society didn't have television, we'd all be doing like big conquests or philosophizing more, but no, we would just sit around in front of the Google box, don't we? Which, you know, that's fine with me. Anyway, uh, when that little screen which showed you moving pictures came into being, these fragments of language are hijacked to create the word of television. It's from these fragments as to why these hybrid words exist. But before we carry on delving into those fragments, I want to say a huge thank you to my most recent patrons and super thanks leavers. So thank you to new patron Johan Weismiller and super thanks leaver Tozamoboku. Apologies about pronunciation there, but patron is the best way to financially support Name Explain. And donating just $1 a month gets you ad free videos, a chance to say what names get explained, an exclusive monthly newsletter, and your name at the end of these videos. All of that can be found at patreon.com forward slash name explain, which will be linked down below. Conversely, if you want to just make a one time donation, you can leave a super thanks directly in the comments section of any of my videos here on YouTube. They help out tremendously too. Thank you. Anyway, let's get back to those word fragments, as it's these fragments of Greek and Latin that explain to us why hybrid words have come into more common usage in our modern day. I keep calling these word fragments, but a more accurate name would be morphemes or prefixes and suffixes, but let's just stick with fragments for clarity's sake, shall we? 
These fragments became mainstays in languages like English and came to mean specific things. Yet, for a variety of reasons, not every fragment of Greek or Latin has remained in a language like English. Take the ancient Greek holama, which was their word for sight slash being seen. This fragment hasn't entered English and instead the Latin version did of a vision. If it did stick around, the television might have ended up being called the teleholama or something like that. Teleholama. I like that. I might start calling it the teleholama. The TH. That's what we be known as the th. Not that I can say my TH sounds anyway. What this still means is that English and a variety of other languages ended up with a mixed pool of word fragments which had specific meanings, and they came from both Greek and Latin. When it came to making new words for modern creations out of these fragments, people didn't really bother to use just Greek or just Latin fragments when coining words. They just used whatever word fragment worked best regardless of what language that fragment initially came from. This seems to be where these hybrid words came from and why so many relate to more modern creations too. So what are some other Greek Latin hybrid words out there then? That's what you're here for, right? You just want a big list of words, but I don't know, I find just making lists of words boring. I'd rather go into the nitty gritty of it all. Hmm, maybe I should just do what you guys want. Anyway, we're here now. But we have words like automobile, with auto being Greek and mobile being Latin. Neuroscience, with neuro being Greek and science being Latin. Biathlon, with bi being Latin and athlon being Greek. Meritocracy, with merit coming from Latin and ocracy coming from Greek. And claustrophobia, with the claustro part coming from Latin and the phobia part coming from Greek. What you can see from these examples is that many of them relate to things created way after the time of ancient Greece and Rome and were coined after them. I mean, I'm sure there were claustrophobic Romans and Greeks, but the word itself wasn't coined until the late 19th century or so. It's also worth noting that there are hybrid words beyond ones formed from just Greek and Latin. A great example is the term of beatnik. Do we all know what a beatnik is, right? It's someone who, like, is all cool and hip and has, like, a beard and wears glasses and looks all artistic and whatnot. Like, hmm, if you want an example of a beatnik, you might you might be looking at one. Anyway, the beat part is English and the nick part actually comes from Russian, of all languages. Hybrid words are weird things to say the least. Let me know about any other interesting hybrid words I might have missed out on. And of course, please share the topic down below we cover in next Monday's Name Explain video. It could be about literally anything, and the topic can be as niche or broad as you like. I will then choose three of those topics and place them in a poll exclusively for my patrons to vote on. Then the winner from the poll will be the topic covered in next Monday's Name Explain video. You can vote in that poll as well as enjoy many other great benefits by visiting patreon.com forward slash name explain which will be linked down below and by donating just one dollar a month thank you anyway that's more than enough for myself but don't forget to go follow me on instagram where i'm name explain yt and don't forget to join the facebook page friends of name explain where you can chat with myself and many other name nerds okay all take care yeah, looks okay. Eyes are in place. Hope I'm sounding good. Hope you're all doing good. Let's do this, shall we? Transportale. Transportale? And so, not any Romans are going to tell me, correct me about my pronunciation, I guess. This selection of words were in their coinage and a right, but yeah, there. Being in our more modern, more modern, but cool. Yeah, yeah.